Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Wendy Fortna here with a COVID-19 update for HANA and surrounding areas. First and foremost, we have zero active cases in special areas two right now. This is excellent. We're really happy with that news. And all of your physician staff is healthy and at work right now. I really want to focus today's video on the questions that we've been getting around school re-entry and what to do if you have a sick child. Unfortunately, even though our transmission rates are really low right now, and it's more likely that a runny nose is not COVID, we still have some very particular public health rules that we have to follow. So if you wake up in the morning, your kid comes in and says, mom, my throat really hurts. Bang, we have some trouble here because this is one of what we call the five cardinal symptoms. So we have cough, fever, sore throat, runny nose, and shortness of breath. If your child has any or all of these symptoms, they fall under the mandatory isolation guidelines. That means that you have a choice to make right now. If you wish to not have your child tested for COVID-19 with a swab, that child is required to isolate in your home and or backyard, depending on the weather, for 10 full days from the day of symptom onset. If your child wants to be tested, you will go online you can just Google testing COVID Alberta. The links are very obvious. You can go for a COVID test. If that COVID test comes back negative, you are able to stop that mandatory isolation and your child can return to normal activities when they're feeling well. If that test comes back positive, I'm gonna let public health deal with that with you. You will get very specific instructions about that. So again, those five cardinal symptoms are going to be cough, fever, sore throat, runny nose, shortness of breath. Any of those symptoms, irregardless of the age of the individual, means either mandatory 10-day isolation or testing, negative test, feeling well before we return. If your child is sick for longer than 10 days, despite having a negative test, I would recommend coming to see your family doctor to get some further clarification. Similarly, if you choose to not have your child tested and they continue to have sore throat or fever for longer than that 10 day mark, that child should really be tested, uh, at least in the office for other things, or in general just should see their family doctor. What happens if something else occurs? What if you wake up in the morning and your child says, my tummy hurts? This is not one of the cardinal symptoms. In this situation, you would do what you normally do as a parent and say, I'm probably not gonna send you to school. Right now, the schools will not allow children with secondary symptoms like muscle aches, vomiting, diarrhea, rashes, eye infections to come to school, even though they're not the five cardinal symptoms. So in this situation, you're going to keep them home until they're better. There is no mandatory 10 day timeline in this instance, but as a parent, you should keep them home until the, their symptoms have gone away or resolved, as we say, and then they can return to the school setting. If you want to have your child tested for COVID, you can when they have these unusual or secondary symptoms, but you're not required to. The overall guidance would be, we don't want sick kids in school, nor staff members, but we recognize that kids are going to get sick and we want to provide the best care for them. So I'm gonna do this summary one more time because I know there's lots of information. If your child has one of the five cardinal symptoms, cough, fever, sore throat, runny nose, shortness of breath, and you decide you do not want them to be tested, they are on home isolation for a minimum of 10 days or until their symptoms resolve, whatever is longer, so minimum 10 days. If you choose to have them tested, you can go online and get a testing date for your child. Right now, those are not occurring in Hannah, although I promise we're working on that. If the test comes back negative and your child is feeling well, they can return to school. If the test comes back negative and your child is still not well or they have lingering symptoms, a lot of us end up having a cough, for example, that doesn't go away in a short period of time, I would say that's a good time to talk to your doctor to say, am I still infectious? Is there something more going on? But when you're well in a negative test, you can return to school. If you have secondary symptoms, not the five cardinal symptoms, then you should stay away from school until you're feeling well, but you do not need a negative COVID test in order to return. I hope that clears up most of the confusion for schools. Certainly on my next video, which I'll try to do next week, if there are more questions, send them in and I'll try to be even more clear. And if I can get my hands on a whiteboard, I'll draw a demonstration or a diagram for you. 
I also would like to comment a little bit about getting your test results. So when you get your swab done, that test result goes into the Alberta Provincial Database. It will come to your family doctor, but it's important for you to have access to your testing results at home. So I would go on and I would look up My Health Records Alberta, and it will allow you to register yourself and your family so you can look up your own COVID test results and print them off whenever you need a test copy. That's really useful so we're not bogging down the medical system or clinic phones trying to get copies of results. We too get them, but I would really appreciate it if you could use that alternative way of getting access where possible. As you can imagine from these scenarios, there's going to be a lot of instances over the school year where parents are going to have to be home with their child. So I would encourage employers to have a really clear policy for families. If someone has to stay home with a sick child, can they work from home? These usually aren't super sick kids. Normally they would have gone to school last year. So there's a good chance that your employee can probably work from home and take care of that child at least moderately well. So please, please have very clear policies so that people are encouraged to follow through with the requirements and stay home with those sick kids rather than having them sent to school and sent back. I think that makes it easier for everyone. Hopefully that clears it up for you. That's all I have for today, but we will film another one next week. So send those questions in if you have more. Thank you very much.